All right, everyone, check it out. Right here, we got the FMS, FJ Cruiser. Excuse the mess. The garage is currently a work in progress, um, but it's gonna be a nice a little uh, recording studio slash work stop, workshop in here. RC cars all lined up and there's more coming. I picked this up from Fundamonium. Uh, they had it on sale. It was excellently priced, so I figured why not? Let's get it. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's take a closer look at it. So here it is. It's a nice yellow FJ Cruiser. It's a actual licensed body. So as you can see, it says right there, FJ Cruiser. Pretty cool. Has a nice roof rack, a real full-size spare, and it even has an interior. It's got all the seats. There's a dash there if you look closely. And it even has a sticker for the, no, actually, never mind. I thought it had a sticker for like a navigation screen, but I really thought that was funny on the how the FJ Cruisers are. It's got three windshield wiper blades. That is uh, how the real one is. Um, the rear hatch does not open, unfortunately, but again, for the price of 160 bucks, um, you know, I mean, can't ask for everything. Take a look under the hood. The lighting, the speed controller comes with this little lipo battery right here. 380 milliamp, so not bad. Just a simple little battery. Here's the switch to turn it off and on. Um, and then the lights. Because it's not uh, connected to the radio. But yeah, super cool. Let's take a look at the suspension. So there it is. Four link front and rear suspension, just a straight axle, no portals on this model. Um, plastic frame, or, yep, every component under here is actually plastic. Uh, it does have bearings, I can see, they don't look like bushings, so that's pretty cool. Um, friction shocks, they're uh, very bouncy. So it seems to have pretty good ground clearance. These steps look cool, but I can totally see them getting caught up on stuff. But the box says 118 scale scaler. It definitely is a scaler. I mean, it's got a lot of details. Anyways, enough talking. Let's see how this thing performs. So here's the FJ Cruiser. I'm going to go up this simple little rock here, see how it does. Um, it does have a lot of torque. Flexes, all right, pretty good. There you can see the reverse light came on and then the turn signal, which very neat feature. I'm gonna go down this um, little, I guess, drop off. And there I dug the front bumper into the ground, but I was able to steer out of it and power through. This is leading the way with two TRX 4Ms following right behind it. And here's my cousin's Defender, super scale. Let's try something a little more challenging. Um, I got hung up there and tipped it on its side, so let's try again. Here I am trying to work my way around, trying to not get the side steps to get caught. And I was able to make it over that obstacle. But unfortunately, here on this second one, those darn steps, just look at them getting stuck. Oh well. Let's try this again. I'm gonna go a little more to the left and there we go, I made it up. Now let's see if we can make it up this slick rock. If I can get it to grip, but nope, just couldn't get it to grip. All right, now we're coming up here on this like dirt, um, I guess hill you would call it. It's definitely steep. Um, the stock tires, I mean, I'm just fighting for traction. You know, once I get a weighted wheel and an upgraded tire, it should grip a lot better. But yeah, I'm just uh, fighting my way through it. And ultimately, I was able to eventually make it up. Um, again, I got caught there with the step. So I was able to power through and make it over. So that was pretty cool. And then here we have the TRX 4M Defender that has a lot of brass in it. And uh, you look at that very scale with all the accessories. And it's just climbing right up, no problem. Here we see it coming through. Just ride over, very nice. And back down it goes. And as for the stock Bronco, yeah, it just was too light up front. It kept tipping back. All right, so here we have the Defender leading the way. 
It's going up this ledge right here. There it is, and up it goes. Very nice. All right, here goes the FJ. I'm just gonna have to be very careful, make sure I can get it to grip. There it is, goes up the first ledge. We'll back up a bit, bump right over, good to go. Now here we got the stock TRX4M Bronco going up. There it goes and easily just rolls right over. No! No! I don't know. We'll find out. So overall, I really like this model. It works well. Um, it's pretty strong. I mean, I dunked it in the water and it's not water resistant, so it still works. So that was pretty cool. Um, definitely do not take it in water though, because it's not water resistant. Um, it wheels okay. The steps just get caught really easily. Luckily, four Phillips screws, and the steps will come right off, and that'll keep you from, you know, getting caught up on obstacles. Um, as far as wheels and tires, I would definitely do a brass wheel with a good soft tire. That way you get that weight to keep it from tipping and that um, extra grip tire will help you climb over things easier. Um, I like the scale look. I love how the lights, you know, you hit the brake lights and they light up. You hit the left or right and the turn signals work. And it even has functioning headlights and that full interior. So for $140, I definitely recommend it. How it compares to the TRX4M, well, they um, both are better in their own ways. The FMS has a more scale look out of the box with the lights, the interior, the bumpers. Um, but the Traxxas, it, it does wheel better stock, I would say. Um, as far as durability, I can't speak for it yet. Um, the FMS, I've only taken it out for one run. So far, nothing is broke. Now on the Traxxas, the third run, I did strip out the plastic steering servo. Now the Traxxas is uh, water resistant. I have have submerged mine and driven it underwater, and it still works fine to this day. As far as the FMS, well, you technically shouldn't do that to the FMS. So which one is better? Well, it's really just up to you. Personally, I love them both, so just have two.